Hi and welcome back to Sana Simple Baking. Today we're going to be making a Tosca cake. Let's get started. This is our ingredients and our baking tools. We will start with melting 100 grams of butter on a low heat. When it is all melted, turn off the stove and let it cool down. I then prepared the baking tray. I put the parchment paper on the bottom part. Cut off the extra paper. For the sides, take a slice of butter and rub it along the edge. Last, pour in a bit of flour. Lean the form to the side and cover the sides while slowly spinning the form and tapping it on the sides. the extra flour you can throw out. Time to start the cake. Add 150 grams of sugar and two eggs into a bowl. Mix together first on a low speed and then increase to medium speed until it is all combined. In another bowl, add 120 grams of flour and one teaspoon baking powder. Mix together. Then we will add the flour mixture into the egg batter and the melted butter and 50 milliliters of cream. Mix until it is all combined. Now we will pour the batter into the baking tray. If your tray is a bit too big like mine is, then the batter does not need to touch the edges. Make it an even thickness and then it will melt out a bit in the oven. Put in the oven on 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius for 20 to 25 minutes. During that time, we will prepare the almond topping. Take a saucepan and put on low heat. Once again, add 100 grams of butter. 
then 100 grams of sugar, 2 tablespoons of flour, 2 tablespoons of milk, and 50 grams of sliced almonds. Mix it all together until the butter has melted and it has thickened a little. Turn off the heat and wait for the cake to finish. When the cake is done, move the shelf in the oven up a level. Then pour all the almond batter on top of the cake. Spread the almonds with a spoon so it is no empty spots. Put back in the oven for 15 minutes or until it has gotten some color. When it is all done, let it cool down for 10 minutes before you remove the baking tray. Now it is all ready to be served. Leave a comment down below so I get to know how we went for you baking this. Don't forget to subscribe and if you click the link down below you will get my top 5 baking tips. See you next time, bye!